Hello everyone, I am Yun Fei Liu from the Neuroplasticity and Development Lab in Johns Hopkins University. I'm presenting the poster Overlapping Neural Responses to Symbolic Mass and Formal Logic in the Intraperiatal Sulcus. This work is directed by Dr. Marina Bentley and in collaboration with Dr. Shifra Kandilia. Symbolic math and formal logic are both culturally derived symbol manipulation systems. They were once hypothesized to rely on the neural circuit of language because both of them involve some kind of nested hierarchical structure like language does. For example, we can have a math equation which contains parentheses within parentheses within parentheses. But actually, both math and logic have been independently found to recruit brain regions distinct from the canonical language network. Here's the brain activation pattern for math in mathematicians. It's completely different from the brain regions involved in language comprehension, also shown here. And this, I mean the green patches, is the brain activation pattern for logical inference. Both math and logic seem to recruit the intraperiodal sulcus. This is quite intriguing because the intraperiodal sulcus has also been implicated in number approximation. So one hypothesis goes that the neural bases of both math and logic are recycled from the approximate number system. But the activation pattern for math and logic also look like the multiple demand executive control system found independently in another series of studies. This multiple demand system is activated in many different cognitively demanding tasks, such as verbal or spatial working memory tasks, the Stroop task, and the multi-source interference task. So an alternative hypothesis goes that both math and logic are just other cognitive demanding tasks which activate the multiple demand system. So which hypothesis is correct? Do math and logic share the same neural resources? Do both of them completely rely on the multiple demand system? As I mentioned, the studies about math, logic, and executive control were done independently. They were not compared within the same group of participants. In our current study, we recruited 15 participants and compared the neural bases of math, logic, executive control, and language within participants. The participants underwent fMRI scans while performing tasks which probe the four cognitive activities of interest. In the language task, participants reported whether a passive sentence had the same meaning as an active sentence. In the math task, participants reported whether the unknown variable x had the same value in two equations. In a logic task, participants reported whether the truthfulness of one logical statement entailed the truthfulness of the other statement. To probe the executive control system, the participants did the multi-source interference task, or MSIT. In this task, an incongruence exists between the value of a digit and its position in a digit triplet, and the incongruence required executive control to resolve. Here's the neural activation in response to language, math, logic, and executive control. All of them are consistent with the canonical networks revealed in the literature. Also consistent with the literature, math, logic, and executive control overlapped in the intraperiatal sulcus. Beyond the intraperiatal sulcus, both math and logic activated the anterior portion of the prefrontal cortex. This activation was not observed for executive control. We quantify the overlap between the activation patterns using cosine similarity and created this bar graph. Obviously, the neural bases of math and logic greatly overlapped with each other, and both math and logic overlapped considerably with executive control, whereas language, as expected, shared the least activation with the executive control system. Other than the intraperiodal sulcus and the anterior prefrontal cortex, math, logic, and executive control also overlap somewhere else, as shown in this overlapping brain map. Interestingly, math, labeled in red, and executive control, labeled in blue, 
overlap in the precentral gyrus and the anterior insula. The overlap is even greater in the right hemisphere. Both logic and executive control highly activated the occipital lobe. This overlap is unexpected. Future study is required to find out the cause for the overlap beyond the frontal parietal network. So what do our findings indicate? Well, both symbolic math and formal logic are culturally derived symbol manipulation systems. Although symbolic math often involves digits, and formal logic seldom does, they share a great amount of neural resources. Their neural activation may seem similar to the multiple demand executive control system, but there are definitely something more than executive control. Thank you.